Hey guys, welcome on in. It is Des here. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you are in the world, of course. Um, and tonight we're into our second episode of our 2024 look into Guild Wars, the original Guild Wars, in particular the Prophecies campaign. Um, I've been really looking forward to this. Uh, I've played, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I had to play a bit more offline, so I've done that. What I've done, though, is I made sure we didn't progress any further in the story. I did a bit of exploration around the, the pre-searing of Ascalon uh, and did a few quests and stuff like that, got a few levels up. Um, so that way, when we go in tonight, we're going to be going straight into the story, which I'm really looking forward to. I hope you are as well. Guys, before we go any further, let me know in the comments section if you have been playing this yourself or if you've been interested in playing it. I would love to hear from you guys about it. Um, and if you like the content that I'm putting out here on YouTube, let me know. Let me know about that in the comments section as well. But don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos. I am trying to put out videos every other day, uh, so you'll be uh, you'll be able to see a, co a consistent flow of all sorts of content. Whether whether that's, uh, whether that's Pokemon, Bravely Default, uh, Guild Wars 2, Guild Wars ESO, and a whole slew of others. I would love to see you guys check out some more of that content. So, without further ado, let's dive into the game. As you can see here, uh, we're still here in Ascalon City, which is great. Uh, and we got, we've got the quest marker up here with Sir Tad Titus. So we can, uh, we can continue on going, which is, uh, really exciting. Oh, I clicked on the map. Okay, here we go. We are mustering our forces now. The attack against the Char will begin tonight. Let me know if you're ready to go. Be sure that you've done all your affairs in order before you do. Once we leave, there'll be no turning back. You may not see friends or family for quite a while. If you have unfinished business to attend to before we go, I am ready to leave everything behind. You'll be allowed into the Citadel shortly. Please wait in town. Okay, here we go. So it's just waiting for that to happen. That's fine. Happy with that. Got a drink ready and I'm good to go. Let's do this. What I am looking at, what I've noticed, which I'm very curious to expand upon later, is with with a lot of the MMOs I play, you usually get... Oh, wow. So we've got Mage, Orion, Stefan, and Alicia. Okay. Listen to the briefing given by Sir Titus and Prince Rurik. Okay, let's do that. Let's, let's listen and see what's going on here. I'm sorry I could not join you before the skirmish. I was delayed by official business. It was delayed by me. I wanted what I wanted us to watch the battle together. So Titus did not exaggerate when he spoke of you. You've shown great promise today. And my I have been keeping the prince informed of your deeds. After seeing your courage uh, for himself, I believe he is convinced. I am. I have come to induct you into Ascalon's vanguard. We are the elite protectors who guard our nation when threatened by from within or without. As part of the vanguard, you are needed for a critical mission before we, be uh, we could begin our offensive against the Char. Our sentry spotted out that Lord Doomtooth and his warband in the old bunker out behind the Citadel. He must have found a passage that led there from the catacombs. Whatever his purpose, it cannot be go good. As soon as you are ready, the prince himself will accompany you new to cast this char fiend out of our land. All right. Journey to the old bunker with Prince Rurik and defeat that Lord Doomtooth and his minions. Okay, we can do that. That's no problem. But what I wanted to say is, um, if you notice here in the bottom right-hand side corner, we've got two different weapons here. And what it basically is, is if you press I and go into your inventory, you've got set weapon sets. You can have multiple weapon sets that you have in your inventory and you can swap between them by pressing that button. I need to find an alternative key uh, for the different weapons. 
Uh, but I, th I found that to be quite unique and pretty awesome. So if you're looking for something like that, I think that's pretty cool. Also, what you might have found, if you're playing along with me as well, is you might have come across weapons that need to be identified. What you can do is, at a merchant, you can buy an identification kit, so you can find out what bonus stats it'll provide by equipping it. Uh, another thing that you can get, which is what I've done as well, is you can get a salvage kit. So if you get weapons that you don't necessarily need, what you can do is instead of just selling them, which, if you want to sell them, go for it. But you can also salvage those items to create crafting materials, which I've been keeping here. So I've got ingots, planks, granite, bones. So there's that option for you as well. All right, so let's, no, we want to press the map. I just want to see where we're going. I'm assuming that we're just going to follow this path towards the catacombs. So let's do that. Uh, let's close the weapon sets tab. So, are we just... Yeah, this looks like it's the way to go. I'm guessing the, the Char Fiend is up further ahead. As you can see, we've got like a... It's like a dungeon party, basically. We've got a mage, we've got a fighter, we've got a healer on top of Prince Rurik, which I think is really cool. Oh, there's Brawl. Let's do this. <laughs> like a dead end, okay. So we'll keep on, we'll go left. Oh, we got more enemies up ahead. More brawl, let's go with the long spear. Keen team. Hand axe, very nice. Let's keep on going. Push the offensive. We'll show this Char who's boss. So I think playing this as well gives you a better understanding. Like if you play Guild Wars 2, it gives you a, a better understanding. Oh, look, there he goes. Hang on. It was on that day that the Char discovered a way around the Great Wall. A way to bring it down. Not expecting that. That is brutal. This 
is where the true story begins. Crafty Char, Old Ascalon, okay. So we've got a little bit of loading to do, which is fine. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find myself a, a, another map. Just so I can keep track of what's going on. That's not helpful. Oh, that's a little bit... Uh, it's not really what we're looking, looking for. Um... I don't need a pre-searing... Okay, let's just... Let's continue on. Two years later. Wow. Captain Osric. Welcome back, Dez. Looks like the patrol went well. You're still in one piece at any rate. Prince Rurik sent me to ask you a favour. You've been in the field, so you probably haven't heard about this. But an ambassador's arrived from our old enemy, Kryter. They can help us fight the Char. The king won't even talk to him. The prince hasn't been able to make any headway with his father, but he knows the king trusts Titus, and Titus trusts you. Would you perhaps talk to Warmaster Titus about this matter? He's in an unusual place in Asperor City. He's in our talk to Titus. Are we... Okay, let's not worry about that enemy. So the Crichton Ambassador. And what I was talking about before is... Um, playing Guild Wars 1, especially if you play Guild Wars 2, I think will give you a much better understanding of... The, the history in Guild... Because, like, obviously this is set many, 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 many years prior to Guild Wars 2. And I think this really gives you a bit of an insight into what happened before Guild Wars 2 became what it is today. So I think that's a, a really interesting thing to take away from this, if you're taking away anything at all, is that there's a lot of fear, like, a lot of lore and a lot of history around both games, which I think is great. I think it's great for world building, and I think it's great for immersing yourself in those... In, in in the worlds that they have built, right? So there's a merchant, there's a dye trader, another merchant, rare material trader, material trader. What do we got? We got some... Let's get rid of this axe. I'll put that there. Um, so where are we going? A little bit further into Ascalon City. Not a problem. But that's essentially, guys, that's essentially the tutorial stage done. You're now into the base game. Uh, so the training reels are off, essentially. This is where the, the game really starts to shine. And uh, we've got to keep that into account now going forward. So what's this over here? A rune trader, weapons trader, armor, a skull of guard is there. The crafter's corner, hey? Car hide helm, gladiator helm, Ascalon helm, Ascalon Curus. So you can buy your weapons. Oh, and it requires ingots to craft. Okay. What about weapons? Customize. The longsword, customize. How can I customize it? Okay, let's not worry about that. Let's let's go let's go find um, who are we finding? Warmaster Titus. See what he's got to say. Warmaster Titus, there you are. Don't talk to me about the Kira Crichton ambassador. I've been getting an earful from both sides. Do you know why King Alderburn trusts me, Des? Because I know where my loyalties lie. King and country. Balthazar preserve them both. Perhaps joining the Prince's vanguard has confused you, but Rurik is not the ruler of this kingdom. Now listen to me. The king's already given this matter much consideration, and the likes of you and I best abide by his wisdom. Okay. 
If it happens in Ascalon City, it's because I say so. Don't waste my time. What do you want? Wow, he's gotten cranky over the years. The King's message. I have an important task for you. Please deliver this royal message to Ambassador Zane of Krita. His camp can be found outside of the city. Go out of the western gate to Old Ascalon and head west to find the encampment. I don't trust these Crichtons. I want you to take someone with you in case there's trouble. I'm sure Elysia will be willing to go with you and she can heal you if need be. Okay, 100, uh, 100 experience, we get some gold. Okay, you can rely on me. All right, so we can take Elysia. It looks like we can take our party with, our, uh, with us, so we'll do that. I don't think there's much that we need to uh, dive into here just yet. But we'll have a, we'll go the long way around. What's over here, Captain and uh, uh, Captain Arn? Captain Arn. We've got skills. So Ber uh, Bertrand. So we've got Axe Mastery, Call of Haste, Feral Purge, Expertise Skills, Hammer Mastery, Strength, Endure Pain. You have an extra 46 uh, Griffin's Link melee attack. Deals 9 damage, causes knockdown until 16 damage. Ooh. Power attack, melee attack. Deals 18 damage, shield bash, sprint. And there's swordsmanship. There's tactics. Shield stance. Resurrection signet. What I might do is I might grab that. Because... Um... I think that's something that we definitely need if we're going to have a party from now on. I don't know if we need the healing signet, if we're going to have a healer with us. But I'll... Does it cost money for skills? Sixty gold. So that's Axe Mastery. There's a leak skill for the Beast Mastery, but I think I want a weapon... Oof. There's a lot of different options here. Marksmanship. Strength. Sprint. Melee attack causes knocks down and seals 16 damage if blocked. Swordsmanship. Final thrust. Hamstring. Crippled. Pure Strike deals 7 damage. Savage Attack deals eruption. Interrupts an action. Hmm. There's a couple of good options there, but I'll worry about that for now. I'm not going to mess around with things too much, uh, but we will have to look into that a little bit further. There's, there's a lot to this that I'm looking forward to. There's Material Trader, Rare Material Trader. Okay. So, do we have our... See, I think I might want... Rainer. Get, uh, let's get that way we got a couple of different things there we'll see how that pans out for us okay where are we going oh it's not too far I'm sure we can manage that there's a tamer Of the Zane, and it looks like his stuff is all ruined. 
Greetings, Ambassador Zane. Let me be the first to welcome you to Astor. Ah, Prince Rurik. I thank you for your kind words. I will admit I was nervous about this meeting. Our initial reception here in Ascalon City has been less than warm. So I have heard. I apologize for my father. He means well and does what he thinks is best for the country, but sometimes his stubborn memory of the last Gilmore gets in his way. The days of war between our two nations are over. We are here in the name of Prida to give you aid to Ascalon. We ask for nothing in return and only wish to be of service. Now I see why the people of Ascalon so admire you, Rurik. When it is your turn, you will be a good king, a good king indeed. We would be foolish to allow our pride to stand in the way of... Oh, I didn't get to see any more. Thank you, Ambassador. Now I must take leave. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not seeing everything, but that's okay. There's Ambassador Zane. A message with a royal C? Let's see. I'm an ambassador, etc., etc. Replaced with permission to enter the city and address the people of Ascalon is in fact combined. This being the fourth such denial, His Majesty bids you reconsider his ill-conceived journey and contemplate a return to Kryta. King Adelburn and I have learned very different lessons from our wars in the past. Isolation is not the answer. Only in peace and mutual friendship shall we find our salvation. I still have hope that in time he will realize the truth of this. Seen ones preserve you. I am Ambassador Zane, and I have the honor of representing the White Man. It is my hope that we can be friends. Now then, what is on your mind? Helping the people of Ascalon. I do not understand the hostility that my presence generates from your king. I seek only to help the people of Ascalon. You could help me in this cause. I have a shipment of supplies that I was going to deliver to an Ascalon woman called Ellie Rigby. She runs an orphanage for those who have lost their parents in these evil times. King Adelburn, however, will not allow me in the city to deliver these supplies. Would you help the children of Ascalon for me and deliver this supply? This, these supplies, okay. Supplies for the orphans. We've got a new Warhammer. So what I might do is put this here. And I might press that. And change. That instead, we can get rid of that one. Alden cannot be salvaged, okay, makes sense. Okay, there we go. Let's delete it if that's the case. Uh, we got another quest from Ambassador Zane, the Ambassador's Quandary. Alas, despite my current peace between Kryder and Ascalon, and your King Adelard and still chooses to view his cruel Crichtons with distrust. He respects the old laws too much to do anything untoward, but I must take care not to give him an excuse to expel me from the kingdom. Therein lies my trouble. Unable to enter the city, my men have been forced to travel south to Regent Valley to resupply, and have been victimized repeatedly by the bandit named Torin. We would hunt down Torin ourselves, but shedding the blood of an Ascal of an Ascalon would even even a criminal like Torin might be a mistake. Will you attend to this bandit threat for me? Okay, let's take care of it. With this Rastin, unseen ones protect you. This land has been seen such tragedy. Even in this place, I feel the spirits of the dead filled with confusion and anger. I can consecrate this ground so that the dead may have some peace, but I will need very special items for the ceremony. I believe there is a craftsman here in Old Saska, one called Artisan da David, who is capable of fashioning exactly what I need. Would you take this list to him and bring back the supplies he gives you? I'd be happy to help. So we've got a couple of things to do. Let's do helping the people of Ascalon first. Let's get that done. There's also a quest over here from Grast. So we'll pick that up on the way. There's no end to these blasted gargoyles. You there, what do you want? Military matters. We have something of a military emergency taking place. When Baron and his vanguard broke through the Char lines to pick and square, they created a weak point in our own line. Our scouts report that Char forces have been massing to try and break through the breach, and we have not enough men to place to stop them. We need to reassign our forces quickly. If you are willing, I'd like you to gather up the patrol that has been watching the road in the Regent Valley. The patrol reader is Sergeant Clark. I need you to bring him and his men back to me for reassignment. What say you? You can count on me, sir. Gargoyle trouble. A true warrior's got to be tough to survive Ascalon after the searing. 
You've got to show me you have prowess in battle before. I acknowledge you as true warrior. Defeating five of these sh the Shatter or Flesh Gargoyles should be a true test of your metal. Think you can handle it? Yeah, let's do it. I'll um, I'll get those, uh, but I will still do helping people with Asgore. Let's get that one done first. Uh, but we've got a few quests here, which is great. Looking forward to uh, diving into exploring old Asgore a lot more. I think that's going to be really fun. Uh, we're going through here, aren't we? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, where are we going? Now, I wonder... I wonder if I can customize my... my party members. Like, I wonder if I can choose what... Uh, what type of um, what type of skills they 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 uh, have equipped? That would be interesting. Ellie Rigby. People often forget about the children of those slain by the searing. I try to look after them, but there's only mo only so much one woman can do. If we don't find someone to help us soon, I'm afraid what will happen. Thank you. Go tell our mutual friend that these supplies will be put to good use. Thank Dwayne that there are people like him around to help those in need. I honestly don't understand why certain people are so suspicious of people like our friend. Okay, so now I can return back to Ambassador Zane. But there is the Rastan's Ritual we should probably do. Uh, oh, they're in Old Ascalon. Okay. Alright, well let's let's go let's head back out. Let's get a few quests done. Uh, hopefully we can unlock a few more skills as we go. Now the Warhammer requires three hammer mastery, which we don't have. So I don't know. I've got two hammer mastery at the moment. It won't be long before I have three. Um, but we're gonna have to keep an eye on our skills. I'm not too sure what kind of build we're going for yet. We're still sort of trying to flesh that sort of stuff out. I think it's going to be a little bit of a ways before we can do all that. What's going on here? Adelburn and Rurik. Stand aside, Rurik. Before you do this, Father, think about your motives. That Crichton is a cancer on the underbelly of Ascalon. I have made no further motive than to cut him away before he does more harm. Ambassador Zane is here to offer us aid. He extends an arm of friendship. No Crichton will ever be a friend of Ascalon. Don't be foolish, old man. If you have not noticed, Ascalon is in no position to turn away help, even those who were once our enemies. I grow tired of this, Ruik. Step aside this instant. We are here to arrest Ambassador Zane and try him as a traitor of the nation. Will not allow you to jeopardize the fate of Ascalon because of your petty, petty jealousy. If you intend to arrest the ambassador, then you will first have to go through me. Go home, father. Let me deal with this. This is a mistake, Rurik. Mark my words. This Crichton will be the death of us all. Oh dear. Doesn't sound like there's much love lost between the two. Father and son. Interesting. Interesting indeed. There's Ambassador Zane. And then we'll pick a pick whatever quest next. Ambassador Zane, there we go. Well done, my friend. You have done a great and merciful deed this day. I hope that this is the first step towards our two nations becoming allies. Adrenaline. Uh, quit later. Penetrating attack. Okay. Let's do gargoyle trouble. Shatter or flash gargoyles. You have killed zero or five gargoyles. So that's what we need to do. Five gargoyles to kill. Is that? There's a flesh gargoyle. There's a, stop, a hulking stone elemental. Let's do that. Oh, my God. 
green. There's another gargoyle. There might be a couple. Oh, one's down there, one's up here. Let's go for the one that's up here. This one first. to know if we um, get to customize our party members. That would be important to know. Because they're not showing up here in our inventory. Let's have the power. Let's do this. The, the, the landscape is completely different. I admit you do better than I expected. Well done. We've got some What's that? What's next? Military matters. Regent Valley. Yeah, wow. This, this whole space. Like, I remember this from... I remember this from the pre... It's called the Searing, isn't it? So this is the pre-Searing area, and it looks ridiculously different compared to what it did. Lush and green and well cared for and looked after. Let's get this flash car going. Oh, this is really <laughs> This um, collector has. Let's go. Let's go for this gargoyle again. We'll see if we can get to level seven. Oh, a mesmer! That looks like a mesmer. Thank you. 
I think it's a good thing that oh, that I stayed in the starter zone and got some more levels up and did a bit more exploration before I um, came here because we're not like we're not by any means struggling with the encounters. And obviously, we're not just having one enemy that we're coming across. We're going up against a m number of them. Fetid carapaces. We need gorgons. If we get carapaces, that's what we need to look for. Uh, so we need to get... Through to the Regent Valley. That's where we're going. And the, and the interesting thing as well is that enemies can pop up out of the ground at any time. So it's not like you can just sort of switch off, you know, and go about your day. You've got to really be careful about your surroundings and what you can come across and encounter, which I think is very important. Okay, here we go. We've got a flash gargoyle up ahead. Okay, we'll keep that off to the side. DPS. I think the range DPS is really helpful. I'm glad that I sort of substituted in for a ranger instead of a warrior. Because I'm already a warrior, it doesn't, doesn't really seem to make sense to have two. Warmaster Grass orders us to report to him. Lead the way. I know better than to disappoint the Warmaster again. I still haven't recovered from last time. Men, prepare to move out. Fall in line with behind Dez. Okay, let's do this team. We've got this team. like the same the same way we went came is gonna be the best way going forward. We're nearly at level seven too how good is that? Oh I can't remember what the level cap is. Garboil, let's do it.
So if you're wondering what I'm listening to, my friends, it is uh, uh, it is from the producers of Game Chops, G A M E C H O P S. Uh, they have a number of fantastic sort of low-fi beats inspired by video games. And I definitely recommend you guys go check them out, whether that be on Spotify or YouTube or wherever you find your music. just hold off on putting expending anymore. I mean, I could put it into tactics, but I'm not really using any tactics sp skills. Is, is Frenzy... What's Frenzy? No attribute. What about the heal? Tactics is a healing signet. Okay. Now, how many carrot pieces do we have? We only have the one. Get the ball hammer done. Where are we going? Oh, wait, I thought we were... Did I stuff that up entirely? Okay. I might put this over here. So I've got a better idea, a better understanding of where things sit. Um, yeah, I think I like that setup a little bit better. I would love a better sword. We've got a decent long sword at the moment, but I would love to get something a little bit higher level because I think this is... Uh, a fairly low level weapon. I would like to get some better armor than the starter armor too. <laughs> okay. Back into the zone. So I'm, I'm guessing I screwed up. Oh wait. Escort Sergeant Clark back to War Guildmaster Gress. So do we have to follow at his pace or is he following at ours? Sergeant Clark, there he is. Okay, he's following us. 
so far so good. Just got to make sure we don't run off too fast, I guess. Credit to Ascalon, Des. Clark, take your men, head into Ascalon City, and gather as many able-bodied fighters as you can. He's got another quest for us. Couldn't have come at a better time. Word from Captain West that the breach is that a char attack is imminent. Get yourself there as quickly as possible to help Captain West repel the char attack. Ascalon is counting on you. Okay. Oh, the breach. Oh, wow. Over there. Okay. Oh, let's go get this devourer. Clark is on his own. Okay. Uh, not 
your neck into the breach. The rest of the ritual. I'm back in the corner. Let's get the bandit done. Where's the bandit? Back in the region valley? Okay. Can do that. Let's hope we get another carapace on the way. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's so much more satisfying to earn. I mean, you earn them both ways in their own way, but it feels so much night like so much more satisfying to complete a quest or exchange some hard-earned materials in for some for some new gear. Uh, and getting quest items and gear is always nice. I mean, when it comes to end game, you're not necessarily going to get those sorts of things. You're going to farm them from a drop of a boss or... He's not coming for me yet. Go. We're oh. ambushed. Goodness me. we're doing is the ambassador's pondering. We want to go hunt down the bandit torrent. Okay. I'm sure we can do that without any issue. Oh, brawl. Okay. Can we do this? I think we can do it. Oh, my God. 
In terms of um take clearing out of it. I definitely feel like I'm getting the hang of um getting the hang of uh playing as a warrior. I don't know which way I'm meant to be going, honestly. Let's go up here. Okay, I can't go up there. Okay. So can I go through here? No. So do I have to make my way down that way? So now we can go 
back into old Ascalon, uh, where we can uh, hand in this quest, which is great. Super pumped. Oh. behind. Okay, let's get them. Glad I picked them up on the way through, because I'm assuming that those tokens will be good for something. Not too sure what, but they'll be good for something. We just need to get around there. I think this, this area is going to be a lot bigger than the starter zone, obviously, which is, you know, what you'd, you, what, what you'd expect when you come into a, the first main zone. Um, I'm, there's, very, there's every chance that I might continue to play this off video recording, um, but if that's the case and if that's what happens, it's not something that I'm going to continue storyline with. I'd like to keep storyline-based content on record, on feed. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to miss any of those opportunities for you guys. So I might as well. Like, like I might. I might very much go around and do um, side quest based stuff rather than mission based stuff. I'm, I'm. I'm assuming that's how you break it down. Is that there's going to be quests and then there's going to be missions. And missions, I think, follow the overarching story, which I don't want to lose track of so uh don't stress if you're gonna if, about missing out on anything in the story we're gonna be doing uh we're gonna be doing that on on video uh but yeah like like the, the run-of-the-mill stuff that we're doing kind of like now is not something that i'm going to uh do outside of stream i want to save it for you guys which i'm really which i'm really excited for uh, I would love to see the, the storyline develop even further, and I want to I want to have a look. And what I'm going to probably do as well is I'm probably going to do a bit of um, a bit of research into skills and stuff for my warrior. Uh, I'm going to look into how weapon sets work a bit more as well, because I'm wondering if I put weapon sets. If I change weapon sets in the middle of a fight. Is that going to be... Is that going to change skills as well? That's another really important thing to keep in mind. level for that sort of attack. That sort of exploration. 
Ambassador Zane, which is good as well. My sincerest thanks in ridding, of, of, of ridding us of that troublesome torrent. It gives us hope to see that not all the people of Ascalon are blinded by the troubles of old. May the Unsee Ones watch over you. So we've got a battle axe and we've got a holy staff. In terms of... Oh, and another quest. Mission of Peace. You have been a friend to me and I am grateful. Now I have another favour to ask. The man and I are in constant danger as long as we remain here. I have physical evidence of the threat, something that might convince the Vanguard to help. If you'll take it to the gate guard Hollis, perhaps the Vanguard will agree to provide protection for us. You'll find him guarding the Eastern Gate in Old Ascalon. Okay. We can do that. Did I... Oh, okay. So I need to... Is there... Oh, I don't have... I can't sell. It's It's okay. go into Ascalon City because we need another salvage kit and we need to clean up our inventory space a little bit as well. Guild Register, Guild Emblem, okay, Ascalon Guard, weapons, armor, armor, 
I don't necessarily want armor. Uh, I can't sell stuff either. That's not really what I want. What does this guy have? Different. Rune Trader. Die Trader. Collector. What does this collector collect? Oh, okay. Another belt pouch. Merchant. Here we go. Uh, I want to sell. I want to sell. Let's sell the ball hammer. And let's build... Ooh. Double click to increase the size of a bag from 10... Ooh, 500. Wow. There's some interesting things here. Let's get the salvage kit. I need... Oh, okay. Sell the gold here. Excellent. Cannot be salvaged. Can I sell it then? That's better. Much, much better. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, today, I appreciate it. Uh, we got to see uh, the starting mission, which is really exciting. We got out of the starter zone and now we're into the main game, which is exciting stuff. Uh, we got to explore our build a little bit more and we got to do some exploration of Ascalon now that it's in ruins, uh, which is crazy. Um, but now the story really starts to take off and we're going to see just how far it goes. And I'm really excited for that. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, but that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, if you're a fan of Guild Wars or if you're looking at playing this yourself, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section. If you like the, qu the quality of the content as well and you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my other content and anything else I have on the channel. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. That's it for me today, guys. I'll see you all around on the next one. Until then, bye for now.